Deep in the shadows of the rainforest, an ancient horror unfolds. An unsuspecting ant, going about its day, suddenly changes. It stumbles, it slows, and then it climbs, higher and higher, driven by something not its own. This is no ordinary ant. This is a zombie ant, a victim of nature's most chilling puppet master. The story of the zombie ant begins with a fungus, a fungus with a singular goal control. Meat of your cordyceps unilateralis, a parasitic fungus that turns ants into mindless zombies. Here's how it works. The infection. Spores land on an ant's body, releasing enzymes that break through its exoskeleton. The spores grow, sending fungal threads deep into the ant's tissues. Mind control. Once inside, the fungus releases chemicals that hijack the ant's central nervous system. The climb. The infected ant is compelled to climb up a blade of grass, a tree or a high leaf. But why the climb? It's all part of the fungus's plan to spread its spores far and wide. Once the ant reaches its destination, the fungus completes its gruesome work. The ant bites down on a leaf or twig, locking itself in place. Then the fungus grows, breaking out of the ant's body like a scene from a horror movie. A stalk-like structure emerges from the ant's head, releasing fresh spores into the air. These spores rain down on the forest floor, infecting more ants and continuing the cycle. The original ant? It dies, its body now a grotesque vessel for the parasite's reproduction. It's one of nature's most chilling strategies for survival. For years, Scientists were baffled by the fungus's ability to control its host. But recent research has revealed some answers, and they're just as terrifying as you'd imagine. Here's what we know. Chemical manipulation. The fungus releases neurotoxins that override the ant's brain signals, forcing it to act against its will. Targeted muscle control. Instead of taking over the brain entirely, the fungus hijacks the ant's muscles, turning its body into a remote-controlled puppet. Precision timing. The fungus times the ant's movements perfectly, ensuring it climbs at the optimal moment for spore release. It's like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's happening in the real world. In the rainforests of South America and Southeast Asia, the sight of zombie ants is disturbingly common. But here's the twist. Zombie ants aren't alone. The forest is home to hundreds of parasitic fungi, each evolved to target a specific insect. From beetles to grasshoppers, no insect is truly safe. Together, these fungi create a macabre symphony of life and death where every insect plays a part in the cycle of survival. As horrifying as the zombie ant story is, it's also a source of incredible scientific insight. Here's what we've learned. 1. New medicines. The fungus's chemicals are being studied for potential medical applications, including treatments for neurological diseases. Two. Ecosystem balance. By keeping ant populations in check, these fungi play a vital role in maintaining the balance of rainforest ecosystems. 3. Climate change clues. Studying these fungi helps scientists understand how parasitic species adapt to environmental changes. Even in the darkest corners of nature, there's something to be gained. The story of the zombie ant is one of terror and brilliance. It's a reminder that in nature, survival often comes at a cost. For the ant, it's a gruesome end.
For the fungus, it's a triumph of evolution. But for us, it's a glimpse into the extraordinary creativity of the natural world, where even the creepiest phenomena have a purpose. If you found this eerie tale as fascinating as we did, like this video, share it with friends and subscribe to Brain Bites. There are countless stories like this in nature and together we'll uncover them all.